Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, so we have an interesting um, number coming out of uh, the uh, gaming platform Steam. So Steam is a very popular platform. It is um, one of the major gaming platforms around. A lot of people use it and uh, it is very interesting because Steam has a lot of statistics of who's gaming and the operating systems behind it and so on. So of course we get the daily information about you know what um, the uh, all of this is all about and um, how many people are moving on to Windows 11. A lot of people have the impression that not many PCs can move on to Windows 11 but um, a lot of statistics seem to show the contrary that a lot of PCs are already compatible. Uh, it is interesting because people are um, often think that you know PCs are rarely you know changed by users and so on, which is not the case. And as a tech guy, actually, I have noticed that there's a subset of users that keep their PCs for years, but there's a lot of users that buy new PCs. And if we look at the numbers, you know, if you look at the, the other video I just posted about a uh, 16% increase in sales of PCs. Look at that number, 344 million. Now, they're not all Windows PCs, but the majority of them are. And what we see there is that, uh, well, there are hundreds of millions of PCs that are Windows 11 compatible out there already. So Steam, of course, has the statistics of what PCs can run Windows 11 or not. So in the uh, Windows PC side, it seems that, of course, the dominant operating system is still Windows 10. That there's no doubt there with uh, more than 80 some percent, something like 87 percent of Steam uh, gamers. So Windows 10 is definitely very dominant right now. But their statistics of Windows 11 is that it is at almost 11 percent of the gamers out there. So one out of 10 gamers is a Windows 11 machine now. That is um, not a bad number if you consider that uh, you know Windows 11 is rather new and um, you know before gamers moved to a new Windows operating system often they want to make sure that it works well. Of course, once again, in all the statistics, when we look at statistics like those, we don't have the numbers of how many of them are in unsupported PCs and how many of them are on supported PCs, but um, all indications is that there is a, um, a, a, you know, Windows 11's adoption is growing. And so we had the last number in late November that we were at, you know, eight point some percent um, for the PC market. And that came from uh, IDC, from other platforms. And, um, now that Steam kind of says, well, we're close to 11%, that is interesting. Um, it shows that Windows 11 is being adopted. It's going to be interesting to see this year. Where do we go? Well, you know, if PC sales continue to be strong, uh, this year, Windows 11 could actually have a pretty big bump in how many PCs out there. If we would have still at least the same level of PC sales this year than last year, um, count on the fact that every, you know, the majority of the PCs sold this year will have Windows 11 pre-installed. So I think the adoption rate of Windows 11 is going to be uh, an interesting indication and an interesting number to look at as we move on through the year of 2022. But um, of course, it's obvious that Windows 10 is still right now the dominant. If you look at the PC market sales for last year, of course, we have to think that even though a lot of those machines are probably compatible, pretty much all the machines that were sold last year were all Windows 10 machines, probably. So that's also something to think about. I don't think Windows 11 PCs were a lot of the number, but they were all, you know, there were a majority in there that were probably compatible and ready for Windows 11 at some point. So this is going to be interesting to look at this year. How many of the... Uh, 
uh, computers out there move on to Windows 11 in the market share. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.